it's long been a running joke that we thought we should compile a list of best cats. This is the internet, after all. Two intrepid and cat crazy editors, have finally taken on this task for your enjoyment. After much considered debate, we present you, a definitive list of best cats, but this list, is just according to our personal and professional analysis and observation. Here are 10 best types of cat. Number 10 is, the polydactyl. Let's be real, polydactyl cats give the best high fives, wow, or better just say high sixes. Also known as mitten cats, or thumb cats, polydactyls have a genetic mutation that gives them more than the usual number of toes on one or more feet. Polydactyl cats can have anywhere from 6 to 8 toes per paw. The extra toes sometimes make them look like their paws have thumbs. While polydactyl can happen in many different animals including humans, it's arguably cutest in cats. Writer Ernest Hemingway, certainly thought so. After all, he himself was a polydactyl owner, and the Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum, is now home to some 50 polydactyl cats. Number 9 is, the snowshoe. With its white muzzle and feet, dark points and blue eyes, the snowshoe looks like what it was bred from, a Siamese with white boots, that turned up in the litter of a Siamese breeder in Philadelphia in the 1960s. The particular snowshoe look is difficult to breed, so registered purebred snowshoe cats, are rare. But there are many cats in shelters who have some or all of its traits, such as the white paws, dark mask, and beautiful blue eyes, so if you're interested in this kind of cat, you can always get the look for less. Number 8 is, the calico. It is impossible to clone a calico cat with the same markings because of the random activation of genes. The necessary traits for calico patterning, are on the X chromosome, therefore, nearly all calico cats are female. Male calico cats are few and far between and can only exist as a result of genetic defect. Number 7 is the British Short Hair. The British Short Hair is known for both its looks and its typically easy-going and fun-loving personality. The appealing chunkiness of its face and body and its plush, thick fur match its sturdy temperament. The wide-cheeked faces of British short hairs appear to be smiling and more expressive than many cat breeds, and it's said that they were the inspiration for the wide-grinning Cheshire cat of Lewis Carroll Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. British short hairs are reputed to be dog-like in their readiness for fun and games, such as fetching. Number 6 is, the Siamese. Who can resist the Siamese cat's pretty blue eyes? These cats have been valued for their unique patterning and outspoken personalities for centuries. Long a status symbol, Siamese cats have been given to dignitaries as gifts. They made their United States debut in 1878 when one was given to President Rutherford B. Hayes, and his wife by an American consul. These cats are especially known as being very vocal, and their loud meows are sometimes mistaken for babies crying. Number 5 is the Norwegian Forest Cat. If you like hugging a cat woes a big armload of fur and can take what you dish out, then the Norwegian Forest Cat is for you. A big cat with big paws and lots of fur, the Norwegian is like a Maine Coon cat's Viking cousin. The large, muscular, affectionate, and calm Norwegian has a dense and water-resistant double coat and tufted toes, and ears, making it the perfect companion for snowshoeing, raiding neighboring countries, and standing atop the dragon head on the prow of a Viking ship. Number 4 is the Japanese Bobtail. Japanese Bobtails are like cats on the front end, and rabbits on the back end. Just let that sink in for a minute, it's almost too cute to handle. Kitties with bunny tails? No one will ever want to miss out on this, sign me up please. These adorable critters are native to Japan, and have been around long enough to score appearances in traditional art. Unlike most dogs with dog tails, Japanese bobtails come by their stubby tails naturally. The genetic mutation that causes the tail to reduce the number of vertebrae present. And did I even mention they like to play fetch? Number 3 is the Persian. Fur, fur, fur. The Persians also called long hairs outside the United States, are perhaps the quintessential luxury cat. That is the cat that expect to be kept in the lap of luxury. 
they are, however, the most popular cat breed in the world. Although they are known for the pushed and Pekingese nose that many are bred for, arguably the best part of these cats is, their pet ability. All that fur needs a lot of daily grooming, however, and Persians are prone to kidney disease, so they need frequent ultrasounds. Number 2 is the Scottish Fold. While his ears, are relatively straight, internet sensation Meru, is a Scottish Fold, a breed of cat usually characterized by ears that fold forward and down. The first Scottish Fold was a barn cat discovered in 1961. For show, Scottish Folds are required to have the turned down ears, but these are a result of a genetic mutation, so not all purebred Scottish Folds have them. Number 1 is, the Grey Tabby. The name Grey Tabby describes not a breed but a coat color and pattern. The sporty looks of the Grey Tabby are peerless. Classic tabbies can, of course, be bred, but part of the fun of cats is in the genetic rock tumbler that produces random combinations of coloration and patterns. The classic tabby markings are stripes and whorls all over the head, limbs, body, and tail, but mixed breed tabbies can have dilute or broken patterns and, quite often, white chests, undersides and or paws. The latter is an especially fetching combination and never more adorable than when the cat's fur is predominantly grey. It's an understated, neutral look that goes with practically everything, especially a pink nose and a loving personality. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.